Thank you for tuning in and welcome back. Today we are going to um, finish up painting this uh, this Razorback. Last time we uh, added the metal and the greens and uh, I tried to show how I get that done in a hurry. So hopefully uh, that was useful to some of you. Today we are going to add some red to the gun cases, uh, the various lenses and, uh, and windows. Uh, we're going to paint the, the front lights, um, a bit of brass here and there to, uh, to pimp up the metallics, and uh, of course paint the little purity seal. And after that we're going to uh, throw on a bunch of uh, transfers, because that is the quickest way uh, I find to get uh, a vehicle tabletop worthy. Uh, in a very short time. And finally we're going to add a tiny bit of weathering just to uh, to make it look right with the rest of the army. The first thing I want to do is uh, take some grassy brass and paint in uh, some of the metallic areas mainly on, uh, on the last cannons to make it all look a bit some uh, blackout flesh for the cloth or paper on the purist seal. Some scorn red for the seal itself. And now we'll take some aggress earth shade and that is for all the brass we just painted as well as the purist seal. We're just gonna real quick grab some uh, black and that is for the cabling under the last cannons. Some Avalon Sunset for the headlights. Next I'll take some Kato Red Base and this is for the gun casings and all the lenses and windows. And with that, we're ready for some highlighting. To start with, we are staying with the Kato red base, and that's just for the purity seal, giving it a little top highlight like this. Next, a bit of palette rich flesh. Then, Kato red highlight, and that is for everything red except for the Purist Seal. Next, <clears throat> we'll take a little bit of white and this will just be uh, to make a dot uh, in the upper parts of the lenses. Now the headlights will get a highlight with a flash good shallow. And then we'll have a final highlight of chainmail silver. And this is for the brass and to uh, paint in the grill in front of the he headlights. Next, uh, I'll uh, change the paint water and make sure that all the paint is completely dry and then we're ready to add some transfers. 
I'll paint an art code over all the places where I want to, uh, to have transfers. And then I'll wait for the art code to completely dry. And uh, I've added a lot more than I usually do because um, to make, uh, make the point stronger I want to add a lot of transfers to this one. So while I'm waiting I'll cut out a whole bunch of different, different transfers and um, then I'll get that back to you when I've placed them. Like this. You can see I've uh, added a few different things around to give it some character. A little mechanical mark from this guitar transfer because I find it makes sense that there is a maker's mark or something like that. Um, so yeah, that is basically the tank done. Uh, before we can take a proper look at it, of course, um, I'll add a coat of Lamine Medium to all the transfers and uh, in the glassed areas, and then I'll uh, give it the whole tank some whoop, some matte varnish afterwards. So that uh, those two in combination uh, generally seals the transfers right in with the paint job. So I've given it uh, the Lamine Medium and uh, the varnish, and as you can see now, it is nice and coherent and finally I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of weathering to it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some typhus corrosion straight out of the pot and then I'm just gonna paint in starting here Thin line, less is more in this instance. All the way covering the bottom of the of the chassis. And while this um, might seem unrealistically uh, an, an unrealistically small amount of mud or weathering on a tank that's seen battle. Um, I find that the tabletop value of keeping it to this is immense because too much and you'll lose that immaculate Imperial Space Marine feel um, but none at all um, is just not very believable so just like that so there we have it a super easy um, and really fast way to get predator, uh, predators, um, whirlwinds, any rhino chassis tank uh, done quickly and table ready. Well, these techniques lend themselves really well to uh, production line painting. I wholeheartedly recommend that you uh, make sure to do some variation in the, at least in the transfers, but also just in the. Uh, and how you paint them, leave some areas green and paint some others metal, stuff like that, because a Space Marine army doesn't look right if everything is exactly alike. I mean, all these people are gene-modified superhumans and heroes in their own right, and their vehicles are all ancient artifacts with a ton of story behind them. Um, and I think it's a good idea to make the army somewhat reflect that. Anyway, um, I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, let me know below. And um, on that, not, not too much to say from here other than uh, take care and uh, bye bye.